Welcome back to Stubbs Aquatics. As you can see, it's finally sunny and it's warm. It's about 14, 15 degrees Celsius. I'm going to make every bit of use of this day as we can because it's just a beauty. Now, unfortunately, it's uh, not going to be this nice for very long. In fact, today is about the only nice day of the week. And uh, well, it's Sprinter in Canada. It's spring, but still feels like winter. Um, it's nice today, but by the weekend, it's going to be high of four or five degrees max, going down to three or four below zero. Uh, that's ponding in Canada. So stay tuned uh, to see what we will get accomplished today. How you liking the new digs? My son and uh, daughter-in-law came up with that. Man, I love that. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Let's check out a few of the ponds. I'm gonna go for the uh, grow out pond, see how it is. Well, by the sounds of it, it's still a couple of feet down below, still frozen. But hopefully, uh, by the end of the day, they'll thaw up. Yeah, it's the middle of April and we're still dealing with ice. This one here, yeah, it still froze. As you can see, quite a bit of algae in this pond or green water. This will quickly clear up uh, once I get the filters running and the plants start coming back as they can outcompete the. Uh, uh, algae same with the main pond it's it's pretty green um, I don't see any fish yet in this one I usually don't until uh, another week or two because it'll be the coldest uh, this pond I've already seen the fish swimming around they look good they look big and healthy so they've survived the winter okay uh, there's nothing funky smelling in the ponds, which is all good. I'll uh, get my lovely wife to help me take the nets out. I know you're not supposed to leave the nets in over the winter, but we had a quick freeze up before I could uh, move them. But they're none worse for wear, and I wasn't using them anyway, so it'll help uh, save a lot of work getting these uh, things out and getting the ponds back going. Now I'm just going to turn the one pump and uh, one filtration on simply because it's going to be so cold again and I don't want to super chill my water but I do want to have some filtration going um, just to start cycling everything through and man I can't wait to get out here you guys in the UK just don't know how lucky you have it with uh, your mild winters and the fact that you can enjoy your ponds all year round. Man, I miss this thing. I can't wait to do all the new projects this year. If money uh, wasn't an object, I'd be doing a lot more. Well, let's stay tuned and see what all we do today. PVC pipe is the way to go. This flex crap is just that crap I'm tired of it splitting we got to get it replaced this year and believe it or not this PVC pipe here or flex PVC is actually cheaper than this crap it gets so brittle dries out and cracks you replace it every few years this you'll never have to replace in your lifetime So happy to get the water running. There hasn't been uh, water flow or movement since November. It's now uh, just before Easter. Man, I love the sound of water running. 
It's just so calming and peaceful. Oh. I can just listen to that all day long and just get lost in the sound. It's just so peaceful and I've missed it so much. I think I might add a little bit more power to this uh, pump system. Yeah, that way it'll beef up the flow into this uh, pond. Uh, I'd like a little bit stronger flow into it. It's not, it's not bad, but uh, a little bit more wouldn't hurt. Another few hundred gallons in an hour. So nice to come home and see the waterfalls going in the backyard. Spring is here. Bring it on. You mean it's sprinter because by the weekend it could snow. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> well, you can see some of the fish now. It's starting to move around a bit. It's way too cold and too early to feed them yet. Probably be another two, two weeks at least before I can feed the poor guys. But can't rush it. An attempt of bonsai at this poor balsam fir uh, that was left in the pot all winter. Let's see if it survives. Maybe my first bonsai ever. And it, it's also a heron block. So it can't land on that one spot anymore. I'm going to add uh, another rope, thick rope, along the entire area. Just as an extra precaution for herons don't really want to string it and I don't want to net it because we do like the look of the natural uh, appearance but we also don't want to feed the herons well you can see I don't have this the main pump going with the main filter it's down at the, the pump I keep at the bottom and it just be way too cold uh, this guy here I can start uh, anytime soon um, Probably will this later this week get it going. It won't flow out into the main pond um, until we got everything going. And again, that will be in about two weeks' time. I'm really looking forward to it. We got a fair bit done. It doesn't look like it, but there's a, a lot done. Got a a lot of uh, leaves to pull yet. That's the problem with uh, just so many trees in the area. And I planted them all, so you can blame me. But there's the biggest culprits right there, the uh, willow and uh, the crab tree. Not to mention the magnolia here. But there's a price you pay for uh, wanting uh, some privacy and your backyard fully freed. Thanks for your help, dear. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. It's a long, slow process, but it's a process process that's well worth it in the end because we'll get to enjoy our beautiful ponds and fish and gardens in the very near future. Thanks everyone for joining us again today. It can't come quick enough, but mm -hmm. like you said, you got to take your time, do it right, and can't rush it. We can't put the, all the pumps on yet because it's going to be too cold and we can't super chill the water. Um, it's just way too cold yet at night and during next week so it'll be a bit of a process but we'll get there don't forget to hit the like and share button my hubby's almost at 900 subscribers trying to get to a thousand thumbs up have a great day everyone bye for now